Hello there YouTube, this is DIY Electronics and today I'm going to cover um, transistors as switches. Um, the two transistors we're going to be talking about is the 3904 NPN transistor and the 3906 PNP transistor. Um, with a NPN transistor um, current flows from a collector to the emitter when a positive voltage is applied to the base. With a PNP transistor, current flows from the emitter to the collector when a negative voltage is applied to the base. Um, the schematic symbols for these two transistors are as follows as below. Um, the arrow on the schematic symbol represents the direction of current flow. Um, trying to make this video quick um, this is the little circuit I got set up let me see if I can get that into focus um, and I'll go ahead and actually write on there um, this the yellow dot that I got here that is the PNP transistor and the green dot right there is the NPN transistor with the NPN transistor, it is supplied by a hot rail, which the hot wire on this one goes from here to here, through the LED, through the resistor, to the, the collector. And then you have the ground wire that goes from the emitter to ground. And then this switch in between is connected directly to positive and it goes back to the base, which is the center pin on those. And with the PNP transistor, I have it set up like this. The hot wire goes to the um, collector and the ground wire or the emitter is connected through a resistor through an LED to ground and then here I got another ground wire that runs over comes down this bus crosses over to the switch when the switch is pressed it connects the center pin to ground causing current to flow through the transistor through the resistor through the LED and when I press this button it turns on the red LED and when I press this button it turns on the green LED um, it's pretty simple and you're like okay well if they're both set up emitter base collector if I were to take them and switch them out which isn't good to do with your parts but I'm just and I push the button it doesn't work and I put them in the exact same way because current doesn't flow that way and this requires a negative the PNP transistor requires a negative voltage to the base not a positive but stick it back in it works there and if I stick this one back in here it works there um, typically you would want a resistor um, going from your hot to your um, base because you want to limit the current and the voltage being applied to the base because the base voltage only takes about 0.7 of a volt to kick the transistor on some transistors that's just to get it flowing but um, the on state of most transistors is about 5 volts um, but it is different for each one but these general purpose transistors that I'm using here is 5 volts. Um, using transistors as a switch like this you can um, effectively control large um, large loads. Um, for instance if you were to have a motor here um, and you could connect it to your transistor and then to the hot rail and when you push the button it would turn the motor on 
but of course you need a diode to you know keep the keep the motor from the flyback the voltage coming back into the transistor and blowing it up and exceeding the voltage um, but that's something else um, and let's say you were using like a, a Adreno or something you know um, or a microcontroller or a PIC or whatever you're you like to use um, um, an Adreno or most microcontrollers can only source about 50 milliamps of power before you start burning the transistors and the chips etc so with a with a transistor an external transistor you can use that 50 milliamps of power to turn that transistor on and then you can control anything um, you could use the transistor um, with a relay turn off the refrigerator if you wanted to um, there's a lot of possibilities with transistors and um, understanding them and uh, messing around with them a little bit it's actually a little bit of fun um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with them um, obviously this isn't the most fun but it does get the point across. Um, and thank you.